Now, when building out your CMS, there's bits of information like the date the article was published, an author bio or a cover image. These are all properties and they're ancillary information that we can use to display on our web pages. So, for example, when you add text to a site, you can choose for this to be dynamic text that pulls from your CMS. So, to better illustrate these properties and how they're displayed, when you create your first CMS project, we have some pages here. There's the recent posts, post detail, and post by tag. So I'm going to jump in recent posts here. So on this page, we have a basic image and some text, but down here we have all of our articles. And the images, titles, and the other bits of information, these are called properties. And there's ways to tell Studio where to pull this data from. So if I double click on this image, for example, we can see here to the top left, this shows that it's a cover image. It's pulling from that property. So when I click on cover here, you can see we can either have the cover image or if I click X right here, I'll choose the avatar and that's going to be the author's avatar. So in this case, the property that we want is the cover image. So we're going to keep that and you can see how each image is separate and it's associated with the model that we've established in this widget. And that works the same way with text. So this title text right here, if we double click here, we have this tag that says title. And if we don't want to pull from the title, for example, and we want to pull the published date, we can delete this from the text field. And let's just click on published here. And now we have the published date shown instead. So that's how this information is being displayed. So I wanted to illustrate that. Let's go ahead and click backspace here. And I'll add the title again. So in our recent news here, I see that we don't have a published date. So I'm going to show you how to add this property. The first thing we can do just starting out is just drag some text right here in between the title and the body text. And you can see here that's just basic text right now. I might want to move the size down to 14, maybe make it a bit more gray. Just get it out of the way a little bit. And I can set some padding very easily just to give it some space and some breathing room. And now let's make this text special. We're going to click over here onto this icon near the top left of the text field. And we have some properties that we can select. So I'm going to click on published. And you can see now that each date that it's published is shown on every single news item. Now in this case, if we zoom in here, we can see that it's also showing the time. And I don't really like that. So I'm going to click back on published right here after having it selected. And I can click on this little pill here where it says published. If I click on that, I have the option to format this text. And all I have to do is just remove the hours and minutes here. So I'm going to click delete. And then let's just hit return and we can see how that's updated. Now one last thing to illustrate here is we have some of our body text shown as an excerpt here so you can start reading the article. And the article cuts off after a few characters. And this is nice just to get a little bit of information and then to click on it if you want to read the whole thing. Now, perhaps I want to show a bit more text for my viewers, and I can do that by just double clicking on this property here. And we can see that it's the body property. So we've already pulled that. And we can go through the same method to format this. So let's click on the body pill. And then we have here the length is 100 characters. Let's go ahead and change that to 180. And we'll hit return. And you can see we have a little bit more information on that article that we can read. And that's how properties works within Studio.